So welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are just joining us, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell. And do not forget to also check out all that KCPE past questions that we are solving. Now question 13 says, triangle PQR below has been drawn accurately. Measure angle PQR. What is the size of angle PQR? Now this is angle P, this is P, and this is um, Q, and this is R. Now it is exactly this angle here that we are trying to measure. I need to shift the compass, so I will need to shift it to this place. Okay. So now we want to measure angle PQR. Now this is it. So um, this is 70, this is 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. So from here, I'm getting 74, which is approximately 75. So the correct answer here, it's uh, D. So that'll take us uh, to question 14. Now question 14 says, a cultural show was attended by 986 male students, 2807 female students, and 5145 children. How many more children than adults attended the show? Now, all you need to do here is uh, sum up the total of male plus female. Now, that will give us um, 2807 plus 986. Now, this will give 7 plus 6 is 13, 3. You carry 1. This is a 9. 8 plus 9 is 17, 7. You carry 1. And this is 3, 7, 9, 3. Now, to get more children that attended will be children minus adults. And that's going to give us 5145. Five. We're going to subtract. Uh, here was addition. Now, here we're going to be subtracting 3793. Three. Now, this is going to give us our final answer. So, this is, will be 2. Now, 4 cannot go, um, you borrow 1 from here, here is going to be 0, put 14 here, this is um, 5, so here you borrow 1 from here, here is going to be 4, and this is 10 minus 7, that's 3, and 4 minus 3, that's 1. So the correct answer here is D. So, that will take us to question 15. Now, question 15 says... What is the value of 3 over 5? So we have um, 3 over 5 plus 1 over 4 minus 1 over 3 divided by 1 over 2. Now we'll be applying our what? Our board maths. Now so we are going to do division first. So this will be 3 over 5 plus 1 over 4 minus. This will now be 1 over 3 times 2 over 1. Now this is going to give us 3 over 5 plus 1 over 4 minus 1 times 2 will give us 2 over 3. So at this stage, we can perform a log division here, 5, 4, 3. The LCM is going to give us um, that 60. So 60 divided by 5 is 12. 12 times 3 is going to give us 36 plus 60 into 4 is going to give us 15. 15 times 1 is 15 minus 16 into 3 is 20. 20 times 2 is going to give us um, 40. So 36 plus 15 that's 36 plus 15 is going to give us um, that's 51. And 51 minus 40 is going to give us that's 11 over 60. So from here, you can see that the correct answer is C. And I'm going to circle my C. So the next question says, A school bought 10 liters of milk on Monday, 30 liters on Tuesday, and 20 liters on Wednesday. The school also bought equal numbers of liters on Thursday and Friday. The milk bought in the five days was 150 liters. In a pie chart, what angle would represent the amount of milk bought on Friday? Now, all you need to do is to prepare a table. Now, on Monday, on Monday, the school bought 10. On Tuesday, the school bought 20. Um, 10, uh, on Monday, Okay, they bought 10 on Monday, uh, 30 on Tuesday, and on Wednesday, the school bought 20. Now, on Thursday 
and Friday, we were told that they bought equal numbers. So let's call this X and let's call this X. So now, if we sum it up, plus, now we we'll get 10 plus 30, that's 40 plus 20, this is 30. 10 plus 30, 40, 40 plus 20, that's 60. So this is going to be 60 plus 2X. That's the total number of milk. So now they said the, the milk bought in, in five days was 150. So this would be 60 plus 2x is the total milk bought is equal to 150. Now, if we solve for x, this would be 2x collecting like terms 150 minus 60. This would give us equal to what? Um, 90. Therefore, x is going to be 90 divided by 2, and that's going to give us what? 45. Now the question says, in a pie chart, what angle will present the amount of milk bought on Friday? Now Friday, which is equal to X, was what? That's 45 liters. So representing this in a pie chart will be 45 divided by the total, which is what? 150 times 360 over 1. So 0 cancel 0. 15 here, it's 1. 15 into 45 is 3. So we have 36 times 3. And 36 times 3 is going to give us 6 times 3 is 18. 8 carry 1. 3 times 3, 9 plus 10. That's 108. So it's going to be 108 degree on the pie chart. So I'm going to circle my B. So the next question is 17. And question 17 says, 3 bobs. P, Q, and R are set to flash after 18 minutes, 24 minutes, and 36 minutes respectively. The bulbs are set on at the same time. After how many minutes will they all flash at the same time? Anytime you meet a question like this, just find the LCM. So all you do is put 18, um, well, 18, put 24, and 36. So what divides first? 2. So 9 here, here is going to be 12, and here is going to be 18. Okay, so let me draw a line, all of them. So put 2 again, 9, here is going to be 6, and here is going to be 9. Now 2 can't go again, we'll put 3, this will be 3, this will be, um, okay. No, I think 2 can still go. So at this point, I'm going to clean up here. So I'm going to put my 2 again. So I'm going to have 9, and I'll have 3, and I'll have 9. So now my 3 can go, so it's going to be 3, 1, 3. And here we'll have 1, 1, 1. So we will multiply 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. We're going to get 2 times 2, it's 4. 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 3, 24. 24 times 3 is going to give us 72. So my final answer here, it's 72. So the 3 bulbs will flash at the 72 minutes. Now, if this is your first time of hitting this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to check out other videos that we just released as you prepare for your KCPE. Good luck.